hi all so today in this video we are going to see about uh, the latest release notes of Appian so Appian has just released 23.3 version okay and the release notes also have been released so for that only some important notes we are going to cover uh, in this video okay fine so let's start with the first one okay what Appian has introduced newly in 23.3 first of all it has introduced introducing Appian AI Copilot to harness the power of generative AI. So what uh, what exactly is happening now? Like what will happen now is like you know like uh, uh, if you have any fillable PDFs available, okay. So you can directly create interfaces with the help of that, okay. W directly with the help of the this PDFs only interfaces can be created. But the limitation is that you know like uh, you have to go in the admin console i won't be able to show this because it needs some license with azure so here in the ai services you have azure one see here microsoft azure so here if you check box this ai copilot so here it needs you know like the endpoint and the key so i don't have uh, i don't have the credentials for the azure so i won't be able to uh, show this uh, ai copilot like how it's uh, work in the real time okay but here you can see like see here uh, in the documentation they have uh, provided okay so here you can chat with the ai copilot as well okay and here you can also create the interface as well with some file upload okay so this is a very really nice feature which is going to help a lot and change the way like we used to design the interfaces as well to some extent okay let's move on to the second point that is operations console has been added a dedicated space for rp operation management so if we go in the previous version see i have uh, uh, one previous version here if i go in the navigation there is no operations control but here if i go in 23.3 so as of now appian has added one dedicated operations console for the rp robots as well okay so as of uh, as of now like no robots are configured yet here so uh, nothing is displayed here okay so directly a dedicated console is has now been given for the RPA robots as well okay now the third point is like data fabric so Appian is focusing a lot on the uh, records okay and how the uh, data fabric can be you know like uh, data fabric you can uh, understand you know like kind of uh, uh, like you don't have to move your data from other system to Appian you can access the data in that particular system only okay and he in records will be able to access the data throughout the system it has been connected on so it's about the data fabric and here you know like uh, one more important point has been added here like uh, you can now write records and related records in a single node track automated events and sync even more data so it is saying that uh, okay so here in you know like uh, in this uh, so in the data fabric they have added see here for example some example like this is their case then we will so we have a case example one case will be written some id will get generated the same id task and comments will get get instead of that you can just all the thing you can do with the uh, records only so let's see that in a kind of practical example so what i have done here is okay so I have initially like how it used to happen so for that purpose what I have did here is I created a simple process here okay we'll explain this process okay so what this process used to do here is first of all an UI is there in the UI what happens is that if you see a simple form here you will add some country details and then you will uh, add the city as well so let's uh, let's try to add some country okay let's try to add a country here south africa let me add try to add south africa so south africa okay let me add the city for the south africa what uh, what is the city let's uh, say it cape town so cape town is one city in south africa okay and uh, let's try to add durban so durban is also there what happens here is that the usual way of doing the data right so in the i have taken two records country and the city as well okay so two city has been added here as usual it used to work okay uh, and country id fk is null it is storing because we don't we didn't store the country as of now let's try to see in the process once how it used to happen let me try to debug it okay let me try to add the form here so what we have done here is let me add here south africa 
okay and I will add the two city here as well okay so the first city name will be let's let's say Durban and the other city name let's say Cape Town if I try to submit what uh, what is the usual flow that is happening as of now first of all it has written the data in the country table okay now I here it has updated the city with the country ID because some ID would be generated in the country and now it has written in the city table so like this it used to happen in like a uh, previous like how we used so all these things you can you know like uh, minimize it let me just try to say country so this was my country data as of now you can see a south africa got added if i say the id of south africa is what three here so if i go in the city table automatically if you see here for three country durban and cape town is added that's how we previously or as of now we used to do here but with this new version what is happening let's try to see the same thing i have tried to do here as well okay let's see what is the difference but see here there is one thing here that it is just using a single record type only not multiple record types are used here just a single one only here so many nodes i have you know like to connect write to country then get the country id update city with this one then write to city okay now here nothing like this i will just add it like this one okay with just one write to record a smart service only let's try to see here I will add the same thing here okay so South Africa I have written okay and let me add the same city here as well okay so Durban I have written and this time I have written Cape Town okay now let me try to submit once I try to submit the data then what happens in the city and this one so it has a different database this community has a different database here here I will go and add let, let's see like at which point South Africa go, got added at the sixth entry it got added in my previously table it got added at the fourth one but here it got added with sixth one now let me see the city automatically the city also got added here for six six Durban and Cape Town so this is the advantage now we will be utilizing a lot and how to do this okay so for that we, we can have a separate video about it like how I managed to do the UI and all these things were same only okay so only thing you have to uh, make it out you know like this is a single record a smart service only so here you will just store the country data only okay and everything you have to do inside the RI only okay so in if you try to see it if I add you know like let me try India if I try to add India here and if I try to give a Delhi city here so see here what is happening in the country only in the related record type uh, this Delhi uh, will get added so that's what you have to most probably do here and it will work as expected okay so that was a very important uh, 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 you know like um, feature that has been uh, introduced in this latest version and that is going to help a lot okay now the second thing is happening here is up to 100 related query record you can do so new uh, you can say like a feature is there query uh, see here query record by identifier directly I can give query record and I can give the cunt city name as well and I will be able to query the data so as of now I just have two data but uh, in the release notes you know like it, it, it is saying like you can get up to 100 data as well with query record time that's really good now uh, the next feature that is introduced here is sync up to 4 million rows of data previously it was just 2 million data but now you can do up to 4 million of data okay so that's uh, okay now the next feature which is very helpful okay that is first came more pages now comes with better navigation so in the site initially it was you know like limitation that you can only add up to certain number of pages only like five pages but now in the previous release it was in the limit was increased up to 10 okay and now in this feature page groups has also been added here if you see here this is my site okay I have no, I haven't configured anything in the sites here everything is just sample contents only but you can see here okay so three total 10 pages has been added here and one more feature you will get you know like see here is uh, when I will try to zoom up see here what happened does all pages gone no it's not <laughs> okay so see here in the left hand side they will come here okay and you can directly move into any page you want so that's very you know like uh, 
great feature here and page groups as well so what happens previously like you you go to any page okay and then you click on anything uh, okay any any view that you have configured there you go and click it but now what you can do directly with the page groups as well you can go and configure it as of now you know like i haven't configured anything let me just go and configure something here so in the site object i just added the 10 pages okay so you can see here i just added uh, my 10 pages here so what i will do here is reports i will just remove from here okay and i will go in the analytics and i will add my page of reports here so this is the reports one okay oh yeah. as well okay some sample page i have created so that i am going to add it here now let me just try to uh, refresh my site once so in the overview i added one page so now i can directly from the overview also okay sorry from the analytics analytics i can directly go in the reports tab as well okay and i will be uh, i will be able to navigate to that page so it will save the num clicks as well for the user and it's a really a good uh, feature which is introduced here okay now uh, th that was about the site pages now the next thing that has came up here is that add horizontal lines simply and efficiently so see here what happens if if i use you know like i am currently in the appian version uh, 20 23.2 it is okay and here there is no feature which which can help me to add horizontal lines if i want horizontal lines okay then i would okay there is no feature as horizontal lines here okay so between cards or any any place i want you know like kind of horizontal lines i won't be able to give but here this is the latest version okay and see the ui has also changed a bit okay the way you know like this and this is there so you can see design mode expression used to show like this one and here it has uh, you know like changed it so it's becoming more refined okay and elegant to look as well so it's going to be great working at it so now if i take you know like some kind of you know like let's say card is there okay and below that card i want you know like a bit of uh, uh, section or something like this in between i want a dedicated horizontal line so you can drag in you can go to the display and you can just add the horizontal line as well okay and you can even customize these lines okay let's say width is going to be thick okay uh, you can add any particular color as well to it uh, okay accent color let's say i have given so see here by default i can add horizontal lines i don't have to take empty sections to give the lines here which is really uh, great now get back to work faster with asynchronous exports so exports we won't be able to see here because you know like uh, this community doesn't support export these features are uh, you know like disabled here but what happened in the export like when you know like uh, the whole application is going to get exported so it used to take some time okay if 200 500 objects are there in the application but now it is asynchronous in nature you can just click on the close button and you can go back to work and when it is completed the a file will get downloaded so it is easy to export now okay so that was all the important features you know like uh, uh, that i have covered here for more you know like i will try to add this link in the description you can go through the link okay some more features are there in this uh, release notes as well but these features are very important and uh, okay i've tried to cover it here okay so that was all in this as of now okay thank you